threats to international peace and security caused by terrorist acts. Resolution 1455, 2003, adopted by the Security Council at its 4686th meeting, on 17 January 2003, the Security Council. Recalling its resolutions 1267, 1999, of 15 October 1999, 1333. 2000, of the 19th of December 2000, 1363, 2001, of the 30th of July 2001, 1373, 2001, of the 28th of September 2001, 1390, 2002, of the 16th of January 2002 and 1452, 2002. Of the 20th of December 2002, underlining the obligation placed upon all member states to implement, in full, Resolution 1373, 2001, including with regard to any member of the Taliban and the Al Qaeda organization, and any individuals, groups, undertakings, and entities associated with the Taliban and the Al Qaeda organization, who have participated in the financing, planning, facilitating and preparation or perpetration of terrorist acts or in supporting terrorist acts, as well as to facilitate the implementation of counter-terrorism obligations in accordance with relevant Security Council resolutions. Reaffirming the need to combat by all means, in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations and International Law, threats to international peace and security caused by terrorist acts, noting that, in giving effect to the measures in paragraph 4, b, of Resolution 1267, 1999, paragraph 8, c, of Resolution 1333, 2000, and paragraphs 1 and 2 of Resolution 1390, 2002, full account is to be taken of the provisions of paragraphs 1 and 2 of Resolution 1452, 2002. Reiterating its condemnation of the Al-Qaeda network and other associated terrorist groups for ongoing and multiple criminal terrorist acts, aimed at causing the deaths of innocent civilians, and other victims, and the destruction of property. Reiterating its unequivocal condemnation of all forms of terrorism and terrorist acts as noted in Resolutions 1368. 2001, of the 12th of September 2001, 1438, 2002, of the 14th of October 2002, 1440, 2002, of the 24th of October 2002, and 1450, 2002, of the 13th of December 2002 reaffirming that acts of international terrorism constitute a threat to international peace and security. Acting under Chapter 7 of the Charter of the United Nations. 1. Decides to improve the implementation of the measures imposed by Paragraph 4, B, of Resolution 1267, 1999, Paragraph 8, C, of Resolution 1333. 2000, and paragraphs 1 and 2 of Resolution 1390, 2002. 2. Decides that the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above will be further improved in 12 months, or sooner if necessary. 3. Stresses the need for improved coordination and increased exchange of information between the committee established pursuant to Resolution 1267. 1999, herein after referred to as the committee, and the committee established pursuant to Resolution 1373, 2001. 4. Requests the committee to communicate to member states the list referred to in paragraph 2 of Resolution 1390, 2002, at least every three months and stresses to all member states the importance of submitting to the committee the names and identifying information, to the extent possible, 
of and about members of the Al-Qaeda organization and the Taliban and other individuals, groups, undertakings and entities associated with them so that the committee can consider adding new names and details to its list, unless to do so would compromise investigations or enforcement actions. 5. Calls upon all states to continue to take urgent steps to enforce and strengthen through legislative enactments or administrative measures, where appropriate, the measures imposed under domestic laws or regulations against their nationals and other individuals or entities operating in their territory, to prevent and punish violations of the measures referred to in paragraph 1 of this resolution, and to inform the committee of the adoption of such measures and invites states to report the results of all related investigations or enforcement actions to the committee, unless to do so would compromise the investigation or enforcement actions. 6. Calls upon all states to submit an updated report to the committee no later than 90 days from adoption of this resolution on all steps taken to implement the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above and all related investigations and enforcement actions including a comprehensive summary of frozen assets of listed individuals and entities within member state territories, unless to do so would compromise investigations or enforcement actions. 7. Calls upon all states, relevant United Nations bodies, and, as appropriate, are there organizations and interested parties to cooperate fully with the committee and with the monitoring group referred to in paragraph 8 below? including supplying such information as may be sought by the committee pursuant to all pertinent resolutions and by providing all relevant information, to the extent possible, to facilitate proper identification of all listed individuals and entities. 8. Requests the Secretary-General, upon adoption of this resolution and acting in consultation with the committee, to reappoint five experts, drawing, as much as possible and as appropriate on the expertise of the members of the monitoring group established pursuant to paragraph 4, a, of resolution 1363-2001, to monitor for a further period of 12 months the implementation of the measures referred to in paragraph 1 of this resolution and to follow up on relevant leads relating to any incomplete implementation of the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above. 9 requests the chairman of the committee to report orally at least every 90 days to the council in detail on the overall work of the committee and the monitoring group and stipulates that these updates shall include a summary of progress in submitting the reports referred to in paragraph 6 of resolution 1390, 2002, and paragraph 6 above. 10 requests the Secretary-General to ensure that the monitoring group and the committee and its chairman have access to sufficient expertise and resources as and when required to assist in the discharge of their responsibilities. 11. Requests the committee to consider, where and when appropriate, a visit to selected countries by the chairman of the committee and or committee members to enhance the full and effective implementation of the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above with a view to encouraging states to implement all relevant council resolutions. 12. Requests the monitoring group to submit a detailed work program within 30 days of the adoption of this resolution and to assist the committee in providing guidance for member states on the format of the reports referred to in paragraph 6 above. 13. Further requests the monitoring group to submit two written reports to the committee the first by the 15th of June 2003 and the second by the 1st of November 2003, on implementation of the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above and to brief the committee when the committee so requests. 14. Further requests the committee, through its chairman, to provide the council by the 1st of August 2003 and by the 15th of December 2003 with detailed oral assessments of member state implementation of the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above based on member state reports referred to in paragraph 6 above, paragraph 6 of resolution 1390, 2002 and all pertinent parts of member state reports submitted under Resolution 1373, 2001, 
and in line with transparent criteria to be determined by the committee and communicated to all member states, in addition to considering supplementary recommendations by the monitoring group, with a view to recommending further measures for Council consideration to improve the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above. 15. Requests the committee, based on its oral assessments, through its chairman, to the Council referred to in paragraph 14 above, to prepare and then to circulate a written assessment to the Council of actions taken by states to implement the measures referred to in paragraph 1 above. 16. Decides to remain actively seized of the matter, 